First, this route is named the King of Smash. Three characters who have some sort of connection will appear as a set, a challenge that looks somehow familiar. Okay, the first intensity level is 5.0, so I should be fine. All battles in Terry's route are stamina battles. This stage's special KO rule that I talked about earlier isn't the best match for stamina rules, but oh well. On his route, a lot of stages feel like they're from a traditional fighting game. Okay, I did it anyway. Of course, even in this mode, it's not impossible for me to try for a KO, but normally it'll be over before that. There. Done. Looks like he's saying, give me something. Next, round two. It's the Legend of Zelda team. Just because characters are in a team because of their similarities, that doesn't mean that they have to be from the same game. This is Let's Go to Seoul, King Kapwan's theme. And I've got it set up so that we don't move from the bottom of Prison Tower. It would be easiest to simply knock him off the screen, but I'm not going to do that, because it's not as fun to watch. Oops, I knocked him off. Over here. It's gonna blow. Will he do it? Alright. The boomerang's not coming back. And I can't go to the edge. Oh no! The tables have turned. Cancelled it. He wears his cap backward when he does a power dunk. Now you could call this the giant stage. All the giants are lined up. Of course, the music track is Taku and Steppi. Of course, he says. You might wonder who Taku and Steppi are. But it seems like it means Tanaka and Kitamura. This track is from Fatal Fury 2. There's a giant wrestler named Big Bear, and this is his track. Regardless of the track name, it's a really famous hard rock song. So please give it a listen. The original song was called Yusha Raiden. There's that masked wrestler. Big Bear is his true identity. He's called Raiden. Jump! I'm beginning to find the intensity quite tough. Round 4. The whole atmosphere is a little different than how it's been up until now, right? We've been to arena-style flat stages, but suddenly we're at a battlefield form stage. Oh, there's an item. There's an arcade game series called Athena, and this stage uses that as a motif. Oh, he's metal. Now that I'm thinking about it, I suppose both Lady Palutena and the Athena games were possibly an homage to the Athena of Greek mythology. Plus, I wanted to do something where two characters who are similar, or have similar abilities, are together. It's a nice Kokugenyu team. If I let my guard down, I'll easily be defeated, so I need to pay attention. Not bad, you. By the way, you can use moves like Crack Shoot to aim for overhead platforms so they have some utility to them. I kept her in check. Phew, that was close. Looks like that fire bar didn't work out for her.
It's getting brutal. The intensity is close to 8. You could say the opposing team is comprised of heroes from different companies. Sonic and Terry are on the stage. Actually, Sonic and Terry were both created in 91, so they're the same age. And the next year, in 92, Kirby was born. Everyone's getting old. But they're still on active duty. You know, it's easier to fight on sloped ground. When using crack shoot, it's especially easy going uphill. Yikes! It's too soon to be taking this much damage. I started out with 150 HP, so I feel like I'm losing. Next, Mega Man. He was born in 87. The first Street Fighter came out in 87 as well, so that makes Ryu the same age. That was bad. Don't go off screen. Ah, he went off. I'm sorry. And now, Pac-Man from 1980 is here. Of course, this character was made by Bandai Namco Studios, but when I talk to their team, I'll call him your company's character. They always come back saying, oh yeah, our company's character. I often have these kinds of exchanges with them. Oh, that was close. But I won't give in until the very end. Because I've got a super special move. How was that? Not enough? I see. Well, how about now? It's bad to keep using the same move, seriously. <laughs> Next, you could call this Team Darkness. With the track Soy Sauce for Geese playing on the rooftop, it's got the aura of a final showdown. Oh, not good. Up next is Ganondorf. I don't want to get hit by him, not even once. He's huge. Thanks. You can't take things lightly in moments like this one. That was a bad move. Alright, can I do this without getting hit? Now for a scary one, Bayonetta. Yep, I'm giving this everything I've got. Oh, that was just dangerous. Pulling off that mid-air jump was risky. Uh-oh. She's so good. That was a beautiful move. But she couldn't take advantage of that opportunity. That will cost her a lot. Time for the final battle. It's not Master Hand, but Ryu, Ken, and then Terry. Art of Fighting version 2300000.0 is playing. In other words, it's kind of a themed fight. He's super strong, so I have to work hard. I'm not pacing this out very well. I'm starting from 150 HP, so I wish I defeated Ryu before my HP dropped to 100. But I can't give up until the end. I have a super special move. But Terry is last, so he can use the same super special move. But this is no time for chit chat. It's really tough doing this while talking. Oh no! This is no good. Got it! It gets even tougher from here. I messed up a perfect shield. Here he comes. I gotta be on guard. Yeah, but with a power wave? 